Canary is the uh, Canadian equivalent of Internet 2 or National Lambda Rail. Uh, we are principally funded by the Government of Canada to deploy next-generation networks and to connect our universities together with a high-speed network. Uh, we really pioneered this concept of customer-owned networks, of acquiring and purchasing your own fiber and lending it itself. started in Quebec about uh, 18 years ago and now it's been adopted around the world and it's a very successful model. It really frees you from the tyranny of the telco in terms of charges, bandwidth costs and so on and so forth. With new technology, uh, it's very easy to light up your own network and manage it. It's no more difficult to manage your own campus network. We've taken this model that we, we develop with the universities and schools of customers owning their own fiber, and we've got a small pilot in Ottawa uh, of giving, providing homeowners the ability to own their own fiber and light it themselves as well. And so it's the same concept, and we think it's a solution that will help solve two problems. One, uh, to uh, defray the cost of broadband. Even if you have a public policy for broadband, the costs are humongous. It's about a $300 billion investment for the United States. And in this current financial climate, there's no way governments or state governments are going to make that type of investment, not even the carriers. And the business case is also a challenge uh, to get a return on revenue with triple play and so forth. So what this model is doing is say, if we let the customer own the fiber, we can solve that financial problem. But number two, we're tying it in with their energy consumption. And so it's also a green solution. It's also addressing the problem of global warming. We have a blog and several websites that describe this project and other initiatives. Um, just Google up free fiber to the home and you'll find that. So what we're saying to the customers, we will give you free fiber to the home, free high-speed internet, if you bundle the cost of the fiber with your energy bill. If you agree to pay about two cents extra per, per kilowatt hour, you will get all these free services. This will pay for the fiber if you get signed a five-year contract. But more importantly, we encourage you to reduce your energy consumption because of the increased cost and power and so forth. And if you do so, your total bill for fiber, internet, and energy could be significantly less than you pay now. So you're helping the environment, and we're also solving this problem of broadband. U.S. Uh, broadband policy is lagging in the rest of the world because of the assumption that a duopoly creates competition. The United States and Canada in particular are very unique compared to the rest of the world where we have a duopoly of cable TV and regular telephone competing in the marketplace. And so regulators and government politicians have assumed that's sufficient competition and that will create uh, broadband demand and deployment of networks and that's been proven to be false. Mm -hmm. Universities and the regional networks can play a very critical leadership role. Mm -hmm. uh, they have been deploying a whole new network model, which we call customer-owned or customer-empowered networking, which started with the university community. And this is where the institution or end user actually owns the network rather than buying a service from a carrier. And I think that model, uh, is, which has proven so successful, can be rolled out into a broader uh, broadband to the public. And uh, getting educators and universities to advocate for that, I think, would make a big step forward. There's been a number of pro proposed policies of broadband deployment from Hillary Clinton, uh, Bush's plan to uh, open up uh, uh, public right-of-ways and so forth. Most have failed uh, to do anything serious. We really need a senior policy strategy, uh, right from the President and Congress down, to really move this forward. Mm -hmm. Until that happens, I don't see much changing in the next few years.